they were carried apart by different ideologies. One day, Tom was at the same age, and he was struck. That Tom was dislocating his shoulder, whether he was playing football, whether he was skiing, or playing cross. And this shoulder dislocates out of the grave, certain pieces off the tail. The most common piece of the tail is the leg, when the tail is taken away from the body, which results in instability or returns to shoulder dislocation. The other reason for leg of tail would be with point microphone. As opposed to one solitary or a sort of dislocation, we're kind of over here. An example of a throwing method or a picture where the lady is constant stress and doesn't even really have the ability to heal after each of those micro steps. This too is also a label test, not so frequently resulting in instability, but in pain or the inability to stress. Unfortunately, everybody's at risk for label test program, depending upon the activity of that. So those people who play a contest sport, football, lacrosse, soccer, rugby, who are involved in hockey, are very high risk for the sort of dislocation of the back of the canal that they have. Individuals who are the world's first with some heavy objects can also prepare their labor without a fight dislocation. And finally, those people who are involved in repetitive stress, or even the individuals who have slipped and fall on ice, can have a problem with their shoulder and their labor. Not all labor therapy is going to be a good thing. In fact, most of the things are not all the same. A comprehensive program of physical therapy in which the shoulder, scapula, and muscles and the way to the cut muscles are strengthened and often eliminate the pain and dysfunction associated with labor therapy. In the event that these modalities don't work, surgery is vital option to eliminate shoulder pain and to obtain shoulder back to a high level of function. But a higher than that doctor, such as Charles and Professor Adams, I would plan to offer surgery as to the standpoint for certain patients. Earlier surgery in this situation can allow for more predictable and faster return of sport. These options are at high risk for return to location, and there can be deleterious consequences of return to location in the young person. The shoulder consists of muscles, tendons, ligaments, and bones. The most common way of allowing to repair the shoulder is arthroscopically. Arthroscopically, I'll be adjusted to sliding by these ligaments and tendons and not injuring them in any way, and it allows me to anatomically recreate the individual's anatomy. We try very hard to customize each surgery to each individual and repair the label, not in a specific fashion, but specifically to the individual's need and care pattern. In the end, this allows the rugby player to return to the field with a tight, strong game shoulder and a baseball pitcher to regain full range of motion and throw the ball with accuracy. This customization really enhances patient outcome satisfaction. I want to make sure that people may work as hard as possible to the soft tissue damages and to the deep deep pain associated with the surgery. Open surgery still has an important role. There are certain cases where individuals have had multiple surgeries and the label is beyond sort of repair, in which open surgery is a very useful item for which to restore and restore the anatomy. In other cases, where individuals have had multiple dislocations and the bone is laid away, I'll need to transfer a piece of bone from another part of the shoulder or sometimes from the hip to restore the individual's anatomy such that they can have a high functioning and stable shoulder. Labor repair is involved in outpatient cases. This means that almost all individuals who have labor repairs will go home on the same day. This is self arthroscopical. There's only two or three stitches placed in the body. And the individual will never go home wearing a sling. The sling is usually worn for three to four weeks afterwards. You can shower a day and a half after labor repair. And then you start you on a customized, supervised program with physical therapy. Most athletes are going to return back to sports. Somewhere between three and four months after the 